We're reviewing the all new 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Now you'll notice if I put these two side by sides, there has been a change in design. So this is a 2018 and this is a 2019. You'll notice that the 2019 has got all new refined headlights. And this is the 2018, which has this small like bird wing type uh, headlight. Now don't get me wrong, I love these headlights, but I think these new ones have a lot of potential. Um, so here's your key fob, you have your panic, your unlock, and your lock. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Now this is a base model. Um, here's your sticker price. You can pick these up for a total of $26,000. You do have 25 miles a gallon, 22 on the city, and 31 on the highway. This does have a dark green exterior. So we'll go ahead and hop on in. <laughs> so this one has cloth seats. I believe they're two-tone because you have black here and you got a nice little gray insert. Now again, this one's new, so keep in mind there's going to be a couple of protective plastic over some things. Now, you'll notice there is something new in the gauge cluster, and that's this metal thing here. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Now to start the Cherokee, put your key fob in this slot here, and then flick it over to the start position. You do have an automatic transmission. Let's engage the parking brake. So you've got reverse with the backup camera. It was neutral and drive with manual shift ability to upshift, pull down, and to downshift, pull up. You can make sure it doesn't like move forward or anything. Safe hold, temporary disabled. Now you do have your headlights, so we'll go ahead and cut those on as well as our fog lights, cut on our hazards, roll down. You do have an automatic down front window, but you have to hold it up to make it go up. So we'll go ahead and open up the hood and do our walk around. Now, this one, I believe you can get LED turn tools in the mirror, but I'm not sure. Here are your rims and tires. Now here's what the headlight looks like. We do have this daytime running light going all along here. Here are your headlights and the indicators as the fog lights down here. This does have a 2.4 liter, I think it's a V6, I want to say maybe a uh, four cylinder. It's a pretty good engine, don't get me wrong. These things will last you at least maybe 500,000 miles. So here's your Cherokee badging. Here's your passenger seat. Again, same side cloth. Here, yeah. Here's the rear seats. Now, on the limited edition, which we have one, but unfortunately, the Uconnect system was not ready to go. So, to open your trunk, just grab a lever or button right here. Here's your trunk space. You do have extra storage if you're not going to put a spare tire or anything down here. You do have convenient lighting too. So, if you're in dark, you can. You don't have to use a flashlight, you can just use the lighting in here. So now, along with the redesigned uh, front, you do have redesigned rear end. So this is, a, again, this is an 18, and this is a 19. So you have LEDs all around. And special thanks to Champion of Decatur for letting me come out and review this vehicle. Be sure to stop by and buy one of the vehicles. They've got chargers, challengers, uh, I mean, any vehicle really in the FCA lineup. So you got Cherokees, Grand Cherokees, Chargers, Challengers, Rams, Durangos, all the good stuff. So here's your rear seat. We'll go ahead and hop on in. Now, I am 5'7". I've got plenty of headroom. You do have lights here. Now, in the limited edition, you can get USB and household 115 volt power outlets. Unfortunately, ours does not have this. But this is a base model. We'll go ahead and hop on back in the driver's seat and show you the features. In case you get locked out or your battery dies, my bad, just put your key in that slot there. Now, let's go ahead and cut off the fog lights. You do have automatic headlights, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. This vehicle has 13 miles on it. So you can control this little screen here by these buttons here. So you've got your vehicle information, which has your tire pressure, coolant temperature, transmission temperature, 
oil temperature, your oil life, battery voltage, and back to your tire pressure. You have your fuel economy, and this vehicle does get great gas mileage, so it's a good first car if you're looking to buy something for your teen, or a good car for yourself. Trip information, stop start, so when you come to stop and you put your phone on the brake, it will shut the vehicle off to save gas. Uh, radio, messages, and screen setup. You can also hit OK to go to kilometers. Now, you have a USB and aux input as well as 12 volt, automatic transmission, e-brake, Lock, unlock, window controls. Here are your indicator controls and your wiper controls. Now coming to your infotainment screen, you do have your radio. Great sound system. I never got to test the old one because I never got to this part. Uh, media, which you can connect your phone. Climate controls, you do have, uh, this is a base model, so you can get dual zone climate, but ours has just one zone, so heat and cold. Should you connect apps. Scored. You have a backup camera, which you, I love how you can access it just by the Connect app, not having to put it in reverse. The climate controls, media, audio, or radio, audio settings, compass, that's pretty neat. Phone and settings. So here's your phone, compass. Now, in the limited, you can get navigation, but the Uconnect screen wasn't ready for us to use, so we have interviewed the base model. So here's your mirror, sunglasses compartment, into your lighting. Center console. Two levels. It is uh, two levels. Thanks for pointing that out. I actually forgot to mention that. You do have coin slots and USB and another 12 volt outlet. Seat belt. Now, the seat belt, usually I don't test these things, but I kind of want to start doing that. The seat belt fits pretty snug, actually. And my uh, personal vehicle, my 1997 Passat, that thing will cut me. And I, he can tell you the seat belt does he, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so I love that these seat belts are comfortable. That's it's, what I really, because if you're on a long trip, you know, you want to be comfortable. So I'll go ahead and shut it off. Also, if you notice how they fit snug, it's more of a safety factor than anything. It's... And that's what I love about new vehicles. And mine, it is comfortable, but there's only one airbag, and that's the driver's side. The thing about modern car companies is they're always looking for new safety factors. And one thing I love about the new FCA, like, well, Fiat Chrysler automobiles, is that in these vehicles, not only is it safe for, oops, sorry, <laughs> Not only is it safe for your teenagers or for yourself, it, they count it in safety. So this seat belt, not only is it comfortable, but it's really safe. These uh, seats have side airbags in them. And that's one thing I love. So if you have a teenager and you're looking to get them a car, go ahead and buy them a 2019 Cherokee. If you want to see more about this Cherokee, be sure to just check out Champion Educator. I will see you guys in the next review.